This glitch that I'm going to show you is one of my favorite because of how fun it is to use and how many ways there are to use it. It's really easy to use and the best way to describe it is as an invisible disappearing block. For this glitch, you're going to need a village workstation block. Smithing tables, blast furnaces, looms, cartography tables, fletching tables, and most other workstations will work. I'm going to be using smithing tables because, well, I already have a few of them in my inventory. Now, when you go into a crafting table and you go into your recipes and you look up for, let's say, a smithing table, nothing will come up. But yet, if you try and craft one, you'll be able to do so. This is the same for all of the workstation blocks, and, well, they have pretty unique properties to them. When you place them down, they'll disappear after about a second of you doing so. And you won't be able to use them for their normal functions. For example, you won't be able to use a smoker as a furnace because, well, it disappears so fast and you can't get into the UI. Now, when you place this block down, you will be the only one who's able to see it. No one else will be able to see that you're placing this down, only you can. And what this can be used for is an MLG block that only you can use. So when you place this down, no one else will be able to jump on that, only you. So let's say I was trying to get across this lake here. I could do that and no one else will be able to follow me. It would look like I'm jumping on the water, like I'm literally floating. That's not all, it can do a lot of other stuff too. If we build a tower right here, If you're able to angle it right, you'll be able to climb up pretty much anything. And there we go, we just climbed up a tower without using blocks. And if someone else was watching us, to them it would just appear that we were, well, floating up the tower, because they, they won't be able to see this block. And this is really good for getting away from people. Speaking of which, if you're trying to parkour or run away from somebody through trees, this is especially useful because there's lots of these two block tall gaps that you'll find. What you can do is place it here and no one else will be able to make that jump after you. So if you're, let, let's say, running across these trees, you can see how, how useful this is to sort of uh, make these block jumps and how no one else will be able to follow you. If I can ma make my jumps, and no one else, else will be able to follow you when doing so. Now, the whole theme of being able to craft but not really use goes further. You can also do the same thing with shields. If you look up shield, you won't be able to craft it. But yet, if you try and craft on the crafting grid, you'll be able to get one and use it. Well, not use it. It won't work, but you can still put it in your hand, like so, as well as in your other hand. And you can do wield shields that stick in your face. This one's really cool. Although, not effective because the shields won't actually activate. It's really useful to have this just in your inventory because it's like having a stack of blocks that never runs out and only you can use. You could just place these down and no one else will be able to follow you, will be able to see them or jump on them. You'll literally well, look like you're jumping on air. I would assume this happens because the version you're playing Minecraft on has these blocks, but Lifeboat itself does not because it's not updated to that version yet. Basically, you can clutch you can clutch jumps with this. You can walk on water with this, you can tower up with this, you can get away from people with this, and a lot more. This is just a really cool and useful glitch that's really fun to use and can trick a lot of people into thinking you're... If you want to see more lifeboats far from the glitches, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.